let me check that in and then go ahead and, and add this. So now that we've we've got this working, adding debug steps, let's 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 now get GitHub Actions working. So we, we have we have the environment here that's that's really nice. We have this you know code spaces environment where I can do all kinds of fun stuff inside of here. Um, but the in order to really get the full power of GitHub Actions, we need to actually set it up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, open up in another window here, uh, another another um, space in GitHub. So I'm going to go to uh, GitHub, and then I'm going to go to this repo, advanced testing, advanced testing techniques, and then from here, I'm going to select this icon GitHub Actions. There's a couple ways to set up GitHub Actions. One of them is that you can just click this button. And I would say that's probably the best way to start with initially is just click this button. And so uh, if you go through here, you'll notice that there's a lot of sample projects you can look at. For example, how to set up and publish um, Python packages, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, also, how to do things with um, Conda, you know, how to deploy to cloud services, lots of different things that you can do here. We're just going to do one from scratch. So I'm going to say set up a, a, a GitHub workflow. So what I'm going to do here is, is actually use a template that I've already got set up. And so I have one that's, that's pretty close to probably what I need. So you can copy um, GitHub action workflows that you've set up before. And in this case, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say um, something like this. And, and I'll just use this as the basic scaffolding for it. Let's go through here. And you'll notice a, a few things here. So first up, uh, we put the name of what we call this particular action. Uh, and I'm going to call this... Um, actually uh, advanced testing with GitHub Actions. And I'll, I'm just gonna remove these spaces to make it a little bit easier to see all these things at the same time. So one of the things to look at first up is that we're testing this on Ubuntu latest. There's actually lots of different environments that we could set this up on. And I'll set this up right after uh, I get this initial run working on multiple operating systems and multiple versions of Python. For now though, I'm just gonna leave it with Ubuntu latest. And then you'll notice here that it'll it'll set up Python 3.8. And that's why this, this particular action works. It says with Python version 3.8. And we'll do a make install. This will install the dependencies. And then we'll also go through and um, lint with PyLint and then we'll also test with, with uh, PyTest. So uh, what I can do here is uh, basically check this in and the first part will work. Uh, and I believe the second part will work, but the third won't work because we haven't created a test yet. So let's go ahead and, and run this. We'll say uh, creating initial GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions. Okay, so once that uh, is checked in, uh, I can click on this icon and we'll see, I can actually look at it run in real time. And so in real time here, I can just watch this thing go through. So dependencies uh, were able to be collected, great. And then, um, once it goes through that, then it's going to run and looks like there was a problem with lint failed. It says using an F string. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. It says using an F string that doesn't have any interpre interpolated val values, F string without interpolation. So cool. So it found that. And then also it says um, no module named hello CLI because we didn't build a, a command line tool yet. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back here and, um, look at my make file. And as I mentioned, to me, this is really handy because 
it just saves me a lot of work. I don't have to configure PyLint. It's, it's got a default setup here where I get rid of annoying warnings. So I'm gonna take this part out. We know that that's not good. But it also said, it, it gave me a good uh, hint here in that, uh, and I'm gonna take this out as well because I'm gonna set up testing next, is if I say git pull to get those GitHub actions local, and then I say make lint, we can see that same error. It says, uh-oh, nine, line nine. So let's go here, line nine. Look, this is, it, 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 um, it didn't give me any, any, um, any, anything helpful here. Uh, and so if I go through my make lint, there we go. I've, I've, I've been able to fix that. It doesn't, the F string doesn't add any value unless I'm gonna put a variable inside to, to print out. So now that I've got that, uh, I can actually uh, commit this change. So we'll call this uh, fixing the lint. We'll say git add, commit fixing the lint. So this should get us a little bit further if we go back to GitHub, ac to GitHub Actions here. This will trigger it again. <clears throat> and, we'll, and we'll go ahead and fix the lint. Okay, we, we are running through here and, uh-oh, PyLint worked, but PyTest didn't work. Well, the reason why is we have no tests. <clears throat> so uh, we need to add a test here for this particular function. Uh, and, and, and again, this is what's nice about this GitHub Actions is it tells me exactly where it failed. So let's go back here <clears throat> and uh, add a test file. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say uh, touch tests. Oh, we already have a, a, a test file created. So this one will be pretty easy because we're gonna use pytest here, right? I, I say that in the make file. I say python-m pytest and also uh, apply coverage reports to this. And I go to uh, this test file and it, it's gonna be pretty easy to test this. I just say um, from hello imports uh, what did I call this? Add, add this, and then I say de def test add this, and all I need to do is do an assert. I, I should say assert that um, three is equal to add this one and two. Let's go ahead and do a make test and verify that that works. Make test and uh, invalid literal for int with base test one. So something, ha oh, because um, if you remember here, I had this bad code that I was using for debugging and we can get rid of that. So so we could, we, we could actually also test, verify that, um, that, that that edge case should not work as well, but there we go. We've got 70% per, test coverage. So I guess I could could actually kind of walk through this loop as well. And so how would I do this? Uh, I could add another one. Uh, I could say def test uh, add this uh, wrong type. And let's go through here. Let's add this wrong type. And we'll say assert um that the um if i put in in fact let me just look at pi test real quick here pi test uh exception let's just double check the writing let's double check so if i want to yeah so if i want to say in order to write assertions about raise exception using PyTest raises as context. And so, um, I believe I just do this here. This is, this is probably the easiest way to do it. Um, is a little bit tricky actually, uh, but let's, let's, let's try it. So I would say, 
uh, with PyTest raises, uh, and we would want to say uh, the exception we're, we're looking at is the um, type error. Whoops, here, we'll type error. And let's put this in. <clears throat> and then we can say, um, basically, A, I guess we could say assert that, uh, and we can even look at the what was the the error that we had, for example, assert type error in this, <clears throat> and I believe we could just do just run it. I think we could just run this and we could say add this and just do so something like this to let, let's let's try that <laughs> um, I don't really use this one that often uh, but let's let's see here oh from let's see here import we'll say import by test let's go ahead and run this so it looks like invalid literal. Let's try that. Let's put this invalid literal. Does that work? So this says value error. PyTest raises. Actually, we would we would want to check for value error, I believe, actually, because it's inside of that exception. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. So a little bit a little bit of a tricky test here, but but basically what we're doing is that in this particular problem, we we catch the exception initially, and it's the wrong type, uh, but there's no way to fix it without me building more logic that would do some other tricky thing like it would it would it would get into a kind of a complex scenario here you could fix it right you could look for the word one and have like a map and map things and do all kinds of stuff but basically there's another exception that's triggered that's a value error exception and so what i do is i catch that exception inside of pytest and i say look this is what should happen if somebody passes this in Right, so at least we know what happens here in that branch of the code, and now we have 100% test coverage. So it is, it is neat to know, you know, it doesn't particularly happen that often that you need to go to that much of a crazy detail, but it, it is helpful to know. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's add this in here. So we'll say, so we've got um, the test, and then let's go ahead and uh, commit this. So adding um, a full test coverage. So this will finalize GitHub Actions here and allow us to do the last uh, component. So in my opinion, the GitHub code spaces plus GitHub Actions is really pretty awesome. If you're, if you're writing pure Python code, there's a lot to like about using this, this particular setup. Great, this looks good. And um, we'll lint with PyTest. There we go, got perfect. Uh, Completion, everything's everything's running great. So if I go back to this um, GitHub Actions menu, one of the things that we can do as well is there's a there should be like a triple quote. There's a here here we go. So it, under here there's a um, three three dots. If I click on this, I can create a status badge, and then this will actually also let me show that uh, I'm, I'm able to debug this thing just by looking at it, right? So I can just add the status badge. So we've got, we've got the basics of GitHub Action here, uh, which, is, which is pretty cool. And, it was, and, and we're doing some fairly complex testing here. So what do, we, what do we wanna do next to do GitHub Action? So let's really briefly look at the GitHub Actions docs here. And I'm gonna put this into the repo 
as well, just so that um, this is documented and is easy to find. Let's say like, okay, so, you know, um, how to do more things with uh, GitHub Actions. Well, read the docs is always a good idea. We'll say GitHub, GitHub Actions docs. And we'll do this. And we'll go ahead and commit that. <clears throat> Get add, get commit, adding, adding docs. There we go. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do here is just look at this really briefly. Notice if I say building and testing Python, that there's a bunch of tricky stuff that we can do here. And in particular, one of the things that we can do is is actually run multiple versions of um, operating systems. And, and this really is incredible because it means that, for example. I could say I want to test my code on Ubuntu, on Mac OS X and Windows, the latest versions of it. And I want to, for example, run uh, a bunch of different versions of, um, of Python as well. And so, you know, uh, so, so let's go ahead and see if we can get that, that cooking here. So how would we do this? Um, I'm going to just set up a different one just because it's, trick, it's, it's pretty tricky to set this up. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go to GitHub. I'm going to say main under this section. I'm going to create a new one. So we'll say git pull. Okay, let's merge that and we'll push it. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is, um, is go into that GitHub directory into workflows and we'll call this... Um, uh, matrix, matrix.yaml, right? So you can build as many of these things as you want and we can try different ideas, right? So the first thing that they're saying is this, if we if we look through uh, and and we'll, we'll just say Python, you know, test Python, testing Python matrix. There you go. That looks pretty good. And let's just go through here. So we'll say that we wanted to run a matrix of Ubuntu, OS X, Windows. Now, I really don't care about Python 2.7. Uh, Python 3.6, 3.7, 3.8, those look good. PyPy as well, um, you know, maybe we do care about it, maybe we don't. Uh, let's go ahead and do PyPy 3, I guess. Let's just, let's try that. <clears throat> I don't really want to exclude anything in here as well. And I believe that that is pretty close to, to what, I would, what I would test then. And what I could do is then um, just put in these steps. And so I could just copy uh, the rest of these steps here to, to make sure that this is working. So let's go ahead and um, say this, let's see, actions, uses, name, setup, Python. I believe I can just run these things. It just say runs on and do name. And this, sh this should, I think, work. Let's just double check. <clears throat> runs on name. And let's just double check that that should work. I might need to just double check the, the syntax here, but I believe that should work. Let's just double check the docs here. Let's see, steps, uses, action setup with actions checkout. I think I do have a matrix example. I'm just going to double check that I'm not screwing this up <clears throat> because I did have a matrix example here. Uh, let me just look at this in, in my repositories just to double check that I've got this correctly set up. And let's see, 
let's look at this one. This is one of them. Okay. <clears throat> and then I think the one I did before that was going to be here. Advanced functions. I think this is the one that I've got the matrix. <clears throat> Just want to double check that I've got this. Um, okay, matrix steps. Yeah, I need to add this. I need to add this steps here. Steps uses. Here we go. This is what I was missing. Yeah, I thought I was missing something. Steps uses. So let me just go to raw mode so I can see this. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. And um, we'll go back to here. And we'll add this in. So steps uses actions. You know, you know what I actually might do is use actions. I think I think that this is right. Python looks pretty good. You know, maybe what I'll do to, to keep this simple to start with is I'm gonna I'm gonna start from one that I know works. And then I and, and then I'll uh, I, I'm skeptical that I'll that I can make this work the first time. So so this one I know works. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this here, and uh, and we'll 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 um, we'll start with this. There we go. So so this one will only test to start with the different versions of Python. So let's let's go ahead and do that. So I'll say uh, get add matrix adding uh, new versions of Python. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> and so once we do that, I should be able to go back again here and go to actions. So, so one thing that is a little bit tricky, uh, the, as you saw, is that you know, there, once you start to get into too nested of a structure, it is going to increase the difficulty level of testing everything. And notice here that what's happening is that it is um, been able to successfully test everything and then if i if i look through each of the steps here we can see current version okay running running the setup here set up python 3.8 installed the dependencies and uh, i believe that this one works but let's also go to the other one that got set up which is the new one and so notice how this one has build 36 build 37 build 38 and also PyPy. so so it's actually got four totally separate jobs that is running and and in fact i added the the statement here that says run python this command that will tell me the version that it's actually running so this is pretty this is pretty neat that um that I'm able to do this matrix that tests 36, 37, 38, and in fact, um, PyPy. And uh, if I wanted to as well, uh, I, could, I could do this, and I could say uh, a separate status badge uh, just for this particular build. And so if I go back here, uh, I, could, I could go through here, and I could say like, maybe like a second status badge and just say like, you know, uh, Python 3.6 through um, 3.8 plus PyPy or something like that. I actually don't know how you sell, spell PyPy, something like that. <laughs> and then and then I could have a second status badge as well. So there, there's some pretty pretty advanced steps that you can do here with um, with with GitHub Actions. So what I'm going to do now that we've got everything, 
you know, working with uh, multiple versions of Python. Can I get multiple versions of Python and multiple operating systems? I think I can. Um, and so what I will do is I'm gonna make yet one more. And so I'm gonna say touch um, OS matrix here, OS matrix dot uh, YAML. And I'm just gonna CP matrix to OS matrix. I guess I didn't need to do the touch earlier, but and and, and let's let's just tweak this a little bit. Uh, CP matrix to OS. Yeah, overwrite. Yes, I do want to overwrite. Okay, so I'm gonna say runs on, and I'm just gonna copy the docs here. So we see that it says runs on this. So I'm gonna copy this, and uh, let's just put these things next to each other. So I'm gonna say run on that, run on the matrix, and then I'm gonna say OS like this. I think this, this is all you gotta do, OS like that. And then it'll, it'll do all these different variants. And if I say matrix Python version with Python version, now what I don't know here uses with Python version, whether I need to do a, a with statement here for the for the matrix. Uh, let's see here, do I, do I say, I don't think so, maybe not. Installing, but let's go ahead and try it. So let, let's see if uh, this works. So I'm gonna say, get status, get add OS matrix. I'll just do, just this one try to see if this works. If it doesn't, not a big deal. Adding multiple operating systems. All right, do we get lucky? First try, we have a super complex test setup. It's possible here. And let me again go to my <clears throat> environment here, which is advanced testing and go to actions and see if this is working. There we go. Hmm. Creating initial 30, 30, 30. Did I push this? Oh, I was like, what's happening? It's not, it's not running because I need to do a get pull. Okay. There we go, get push. All right, so this thing should trigger now. There should be a new GitHub Actions. Just let this refresh. There we go. So if we click on this, yeah, it looks like, wow, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So basically um, what, what we've got set up here is actually a very comprehensive test matrix with just a few lines of code where we have Ubuntu 3.6, Ubuntu 3.7, Ubuntu 3.8, Ubuntu um, with PyPy 3. Then we have OS 10 3.6, OS 10 3.7, uh, OS 10 3.8, OS 10 PyPy, Windows 3.6, Windows 3.7, Windows, uh-oh, look, and we've already found there's a really subtle bug here on Windows, which is pretty cool. Um, so what is that bug? Why does Windows fail? What, what is it not like? Could not install packages. Oh, well, one of the problems here is that um, Windows doesn't do make files. So uh, that's, that's definitely going to be an issue in um, our project. So, you know, a couple ways to handle this. Uh, you know, you could actually just do a separate build step for Windows. So just to make things simple here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Windows, sorry, we don't support you, uh, which is typically, you know, I, I actually do work with Windows sometimes, but... Uh, for simplicity here, let's um, let's get rid of it and do this, and we'll say 
removing Windows support. There we go. And we've got this now, now working. <clears throat> okay, so next up, what we can do is verify that that works. Go to Actions, removing Windows support. And there we go. We're going to see it's going to run through here. And then uh, it, it appears that all of these eight jobs, which will again are four versions of Python, plus the uh, um, two operating systems should, should all be good. There we go. That passes, that passes, that passes. Looks like things are working here. We've got all the different versions um, tested. Perf perfect. All right, so it lo looks like we're, we're able to actually fully test out all of these versions of Python. I don't know why that one's taking so long. Uh, if we click on it, I guess it's just starting up now. But basically, uh, I'm going to create a, a status badge again uh, for this, and then I will I will put this status badge in our repo, and I'll say uh, one more. And we'll say uh, basically. Just, well, this would be just Python 3.8 here. And then this is Python 3.6. And then this is uh, Ubuntu plus OS 10. Uh, and then these, there we go. All right. So we've got this cooking in our readme file. And then I, if I do a git pull, everything's back to Back, back to normal. So this is a good spot to say we got a lot of great things going with uh, GitHub Actions, very advanced things, in fact, where we're able to test multiple operating systems and multiple versions of Python.